Hey everybody, this is Raymond, and as I promised in my last video, I said I would do a video comparison between the Wii, Wii U, Xbox 360S, or Slim, and the PlayStation 3 Slim. So let's get down to it. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is a comparison between the Wii and the Wii U. Um, there's a power button, a reset button, and a eject button on the Wii. But on the Wii U, there's only a power and disk button. Um, as I said in my last video, both the Wii and Wii U have these flaps in the front. And the Wii has the sync button and the SD card slot inside of the flap. And the Wii U has the SD card plus two USB ports in the front. And the sync button is now outside of the flap, which is should be easier for you to sync. Uh, controllers to it. So taking a look at the width, um, the Wii U is just a little bit wider. As you can see, it's a little bit rounder too on the sides. Um, Wii is a little boxier, but uh, it's pretty similar. And if we take a look at the back, uh, we'll flip it to the back, and you can see over here, the Wii U is actually longer. Just a little bit longer, maybe like two inches longer. Um, we've got the familiar two USB ports on the Wii and on the Wii U. We've got the AV Multi Out, the same as on the Wii and the Wii U. This time we've got the sensor bar and the sensor bar, so pretty similar. The power uh, adapter here and here. And new is the HDMI cable, which allows you know, HD video output. So that's kind of nice. Um, iFixit did a teardown and they showed that the Wii U is actually has a bigger fan. It actually has a bigger fan. Um, it also has a re heavier uh, optical drive. So um, take that for what you will. Um, there's Samsung flash memory inside and the HDMI controller is made by Panasonic. If we compare the uh, Wii U, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3 in height, you can see that the Wii U is still shorter, slightly shorter than the Xbox 360, and of course the PlayStation 3, uh, second generation PlayStation 3 is still the tallest. Um, the new PlayStation 3 might be a little bit shorter, I'm not too sure, I haven't actually seen that console in person myself. And if we shift aside, you can see that the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 are still wider. Um, so again, very tiny console for Nintendo once again. Um, should be the same power as the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Both or all three are capable of outputting 1080p HD video. So one key difference on the back is that the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 have a um, Ethernet port and the Wii does not. It has built-in Wi-Fi but all three consoles have built-in Wi-Fi now and um, unlike the Wii U and Xbox 360 the PlayStation 3's power unit is actually built inside so that's probably why the PS3 is wider there isn't that gigantic power brick. There's also a digital out on the PS3 and the Xbox 360 over here and none on the Wii. So if we were to do a comparison you can see over here it's roughly I guess if you position it right the Chrome on the Xbox 360 the Wii is roughly about as wide as the Xbox 360 and you turn it to the side you can see over here look clear and put over here it's also much, much thinner than the Xbox 360. Um, take a look at that. So we're going to move this Xbox 360, and we're going to take the PlayStation 3 and put it up over here. As you can see, PlayStation 3 is a massive forming grill. Xbox 360 is super slim by comparison. Take a look at that. Pretty nice, pretty nice. 
one more shot from the top. So as you just saw in the video, um, the Wii U is a relatively tiny console compared to the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and it's just a little bit larger than the Wii. So um, if you like small consoles, this is your device.